What's going on kids? Welcome once again to the Jerkmonger video stuff. This is horror category, the zombie. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just exercising some of the rules and the lessons that I was teaching in the recent videos that I did uh, for last month for the shapes concerning drawing. For So some of you who uh, are interested in that sort of thing are going to notice here's where I'm kind of employing all these ideas about cylinders and spheres um, uh, cubes and cones this is where you're gonna see me kind of employing those those concepts so anyway uh, what I'm doing right now is we're just kind of going into I just did a basic skeleton or, or the, the, the underdrawing concept here this is not necessarily the only way to draw but it does does work if you're still feeling a little tentative I have been experimenting recently in ways of drawing where I try to try to just not use a, a, a template underneath but you know for the kind of work that, that that you want I'm doing and that you want to do sometimes this is the way to go so um, but you can see some of the the way that I'm approaching it and the way I'm handling some of the shapes and the forms you can notice there's not a lot of smooth lines a lot of them are like kind of crooked wrinkly stuff I actually like drawing this way I have to apologize because uh, at some point during the recording of this video my somehow my screen popped a little larger and it got larger than what was actually uh, on uh, here but it's not by much but just enough that it annoys me to no end so I think you guys are still getting the gist of my drawing here and seeing what it is exactly I'm doing um, so I'm kind of taking this this idea and I, I've already did the first layer of drawing and this is kind of how you might do it if you were doing it with a pencil of course I'm working in Photoshop so you know you're not seeing me draw the toes here but this is you know something that I the way I would handle it uh, actually it's probably a good thing because when I started when I first did these feet <laughs> I drew the toes on the wrong side so go figure as he was like a perfectly good right foot on the left foot but um but again this is me trying to to uh, continue to push my own boundaries and how I work and uh, also trying to see if I could try something a little different. You might notice that in some of the way I'm drawing this, it, it definitely has a lot of inspiration from Katsuhiro Otomo, the gentleman uh, that was responsible for Akira, or Akira, the anime um, and manga. So this is me uh, kind of employing some of the things that I've learned from studying his work recently, and which has been a huge benefit to me. Um, just kind of noticing little little things that he would do and, and how he would approach certain stuff um, so this is a really important element of of studying is when you take what you've learned and apply it uh, once you've applied that then you can kind of go in and start to do more to the you know so I'm in my third this is my third layer first was the initial skeleton or the underdrawing of a basic form basic pose the second was a little bit tighter and I was kind of still figuring things out. And here I'm kind of doing what you might call the final pencils. The only difference is that there's not a lot of black in this. And this is just by design. I, I, I intended to draw this more as like a study in just form versus trying to create, you know, uh, shading and volume that way. I just wanted to give this sense, of almost like the way uh, Frank Whiteley draws. He draws something like this sometimes. But I'm still utilizing some of the ideas of the, of the depth and the, the uh, what you call it, a perspective by having this, this creature or this form hunched over. You can also notice the, uh, the amount of curly, curly cues in this crotch area. That's just because I wanted to draw something a little more horrific, a little more weird, and something that's gonna be a little more off-putting for what this character is supposed to be, basically a zombie. Uh, some of these ideas, by the way, are parts uh, and parcel. They're gonna be some, somehow involved in, in a in a, a project I'm working on with with Honor Studio to create a Frankenstein story, and this is some of my thinking about how I want to create, you know, creatures of this nature and this cat, this caliber. All right, so I did that final drawing, and now I'm playing around with some brushes. So I have a set of brushes that I use a lot. These are my uh, I use Kyle Webster's brushes, uh, but he doesn't make them anymore, unfortunately. Uh, he got some sort of setup with Photoshop and now he does that. But I found some other brushes and this is his natural brush that I'm using here. Which basically, it's, uh, it's a ra it has a, the properties of a normal brush but an, in Photoshop. But it has a bit of a grit or a grain to it, which I tend to like. It gives it almost like an a organic feel to it, like you're working with traditional media. 
so this is important so you can see now I'm taking and you notice that every time I draw whether it's the under base to the next level or the second that level to the third level you notice that I keep adding stuff to it I keep changing even here in the inking process I'm not just going over my line I'm not just tracing my, my drawing I'm actually going through and creating new shapes and new forms new pieces and I think that's important I think that's where you get a lot of mileage out of your art is when you start to to you take your art to the next level at every step not just at the one step so um, you see pits there, there you go you saw some hair that I added to that that wasn't there before little pieces of lines and little little things connecting here or there that wasn't there before again this is the difference between what used to be called finishing art and embellishment I would say that this is I'm finishing my own art in a way um, not just embellishing or you might call it embellishing it depends on how your what your perspective is on that I guess but uh, I'm genuinely trying to create something new each time I draw it so it's not dead a lot of people who take their drawings and they just trace what they have there because um, they draw so tight I don't like drawing that tight especially when I'm inking my own stuff I don't want to ink that way in fact what I'm really trying to do as I go through each pass is give myself the challenge of how do I how do I add to this last layer what I just did there has to be something else that's going on besides that so uh, definitely trying to create for myself the uh, something more ambitious than was typical of, of even myself and you also see I've omitted lines too I, I've I didn't follow everything again I want to I want this to feel really organic and, and alive uh, even though I'm drawing a living dead thing notice that there's these little ticks that I draw those those are nice little ways to kind of hint at fat or volume of something without drawing every single little piece of, of uh, or every solid line nothing has to be solid some things can be broken um, here I'm just kind of adding a few thick shapes thick lines to things trying to give myself a little more texture to this character um, he has a little bit of a cartoony look to him which is okay again I was inspired by manga when I was working on this so or anime and there you have it there goes my zombie guy um, I'm pretty happy with that guy he's he's pretty cool either way I want to thank you guys for watching I appreciate you hanging out with me thank you guys you patrons who are who are digging my stuff I appreciate all of you and I hope that I can continue to create great content for you that you would enjoy and learn from we'll talk very soon bye